Welcome back. One Chattanooga company is brewing more than a dozen beers from one of the most popular sites in the city. The Chattanooga Brewing Company is operating under a name that dates back to before Prohibition. But as News Channel 9's Latricia Thomas shows us, their business is anything but outdated. It's not your average storefront, it's actually a working brewery. We were both engineers and both home brewers. John Clark and Mark Markham met at, where else, a local bar. We just decided that uh, instead of him going and finding another job and me keeping on the one I didn't like, that we would uh, give a sh take, the, take the chance and uh, give this brewery a shot. A brewery that mixes watering hole with workshop. So that is malted barley. The first ingredient is added to the kettle, mixed with 150 degree water and left to bubble and boil. What we're doing is sprinkling hot water on top of the grain. And what that does is filter through and pulls all the sugar water off the bottom of the mash and over into the kettle. Gravity then moves the batch to another kettle close by. We add all our hops, which are what provide the bittering. They actually provide some uh, micro antimicrobial properties and they add the uh, just kind of the aroma and taste that people expect with a beer nowadays. The brew is pumped to the fermentation tanks where the yeast makes the magic happen. That's where they eat sugar and turn it into carbon dioxide and alcohol, so they actually make the beer for us. From there, it's cooled, kegged, and carried to local bars and retailers, creating a point of pride for the pair of ex-engineers. It's very cool to go into a bar or restaurant and see our tap handle up there and know that you made that and see somebody else order it. An order that's filled right on Frazier. No matter what happens in here at the end of the day, you're making beer, <laughs> and that can't be bad. For Made in Chattanooga, I'm Latricia Thomas. Well, for a link to places that you can buy Chattanooga Brewing Company beer besides their own bar on the weekends, click on this story on newschannel9.com. By the end of the year, the brewery will follow the resurgence of the city's south side, move their operations, and open a beer garden. Next week on Made In, we take you to Blowing Springs Kennel, where they train law enforcement therapy and hunting dogs.